pick something to watch picking something to watch acts as a motivator a great motivator okay let's say for example you want to learn spanish because you like their culture you want to go there you like their soaps you like their music okay so if you like their music start with the spanish music Oui, je parle un peu de lo français. Et hablas espagnol también? Sí, hablo espagnol, hablo espagnol y quiero mucho hablar espagnol porque es una de las lenguas uh, románticas, eh, las lenguas buenos a mí. Amo mucho espagnol y su cultura y todo eso. Italiano parli italiano sì io parlo italiano perché voglio molto parlare lingue diverse e sapere molte cose di molti culturali e perciò parlo italiano ma non è molto bene come spagnolo lo spagnolo sì ah li dava pan tagalog di Oh, 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 nga, nagsasalita ko ng Tagalog at Tagalog po ay isa sa mga lingwahe na napakaganda, na napakagusto, napakagusto ko siya kasi, ah, gusto ko talaga ng Tagalog kasi siya ay unang lingwahe na nag-aral, nang, nang mag-isa, nagsimula po ako mag-aral ng mga lingwahe ng Tagalog, di ba? Siya yung una kong lingwahe. And, naungea kiswahili pia, nashukuru sana kuungea kiswahili. Kiswahili ni luha yangu ya mama. Nimezaliwa Kenya, naweza kuungea kiswahili. And today we are going to talk about tips that I can give you. So the title of the video is Language Learning Tips from a Polyglot. Hi everyone, my name is Connie. I speak six languages. And today I'm going to give you learning tips. From my language learning experience, I'm going to show you, I'm going to help you know things that you are supposed to start with and things that are quite important for you to learn and I'll give you a little bit of my, let, let's do Spanish, I'll give you a little bit of my Spanish background, language learning background, because I have learned it on my own. Okay. Let me not say too much, I'll give you in the background. Okay, so let's start the video. The first thing that you need to do is pick a language. Let's talk a little bit about picking a language. You don't just go and pick any language, right? If you ask me how I came to, how I started learning a language or, or how I came up choosing Filipino, Spanish, French, Italian, like how did I choose those languages? This is my answer. When you want to pick a language, you look at the thing that you really like. Let's say, for example, you are picking Spanish. What do you like about Spanish? Do you really think you can commit, let's say, for three to four years? Do you really think you can commit even 30 minutes a day to learning that language? Every day, 30 minutes every day to learn that language. I know things won't be perfect, like you won't be learning 30 minutes every day. There are days you'll be learning one hour, there are days you'll be learning ten minutes, there are days you won't be learning. Life happens, right? But do you think if you take that as um uh, if you take that as a goal, like do you think you can learn that language 30 minutes every day for four years? Okay, and what makes you that what makes you think that that language can be interesting to you? Why do you want to learn Spanish? Do you want to go there? What do you want to do with it? Okay, so you need to ask yourself deep questions before you choose a language. Language learning is a long process. It's a never-ending process if you are an adult, you're going to learn new things all the time. You're going to learn new things all the time. And you need to pick a language that you, you can fall in love with or a language that you are in love with and a language that you can continue learning every day. Okay, so that is my advice on picking a language. Pick a language before you start learning. Because if you don't, you're going to reach something we call language plateau. 
and then you feel like no i feel like this language is not for me let me look for another one no so when the importance of picking a language is when you reach on um language plateau you're going to continue because that is the language you want you're going to go and go and go and go no matter what you're going to learn it that's the importance of picking a language the second thing is setting goals and putting systems into place so when i started learning languages i started with filipino or tagalog it's a language that is really close to my heart i started with that language and in the beginning i wish i could have seen this such a video i, I wish i could have seen a video like this before i started language, learning filipino because you need to have goals and you need to have systems set in place let's start by talking about goals i know that setting goals does not guarantee you like ticking all of them like reaching all the goals but setting goals set your minds to a target okay when you set a goal you are telling your mind this is what i want to achieve and your mind will see that as a target and if your target is as high as possible as high as you think your mind is going to work as hard as possible and you are going to be in harmony with the goal like you are going to want to learn every time every day like you hear of let's say we are let's benchmark spanish here let's use spanish as a benchmark you're going to want to let's say watch a spanish film do a spanish thing go, go to a spanish restaurant okay after you have chosen spanish as the language you want to learn okay you can set goals for example you can set goals such as um i want to reach at an a1 level because of course you are starting from zero i want to reach at the at an a1 level by the end of three months of course there are times you won't be able to reach an a1 level at the end of three months yeah you can reach there even after nine months after one year it depends if you are learning alone you are learning with a teacher or someone is guiding you and the resources that you are using so it is very very important to set a language goal okay set a language goal both short term and long term by short term maybe uh three months three months target by short term the way i said maybe if you're just beginning reaching an a1 level or knowing a certain amount of vocabulary reading a certain amount of storybooks if you are learning through storybooks and the long term goal is maybe 3 years or 1 year that is if you are a beginner reaching an A2 level okay being able to understand completely the beginner things and easy songs just set yourself targets that are going to make you work harder that's what goals help you with now systems by systems i mean setting up things that are going to help you in your quest in learning your language or reaching that goals for example if you say that you are going to let's say read you are going to read a storybook in three months one storybook in three one storybook in three months so you need to to put up systems like how many pages are you going to read to read every how many pages are you going to read every day or how many paragraphs and after reading what are you going to do are you going to talk about the chapter are you going to write a little bit about the chapter are you going to uh, respond to the questions about the chapter so you set a system around reading and the system helps you to know exactly what to do at a certain time okay when you set a system you won't be thinking a lot like um today i'm supposed to be reading so what am i going to read and after reading what am i going to do when you have a system in place you're going to know i'm going to read this page after reading this page i'm going to summarize i'm going to talk a little bit about it and i'm going to check if my pronunciation is correct and so forth set a system to know what you are going to do now let's go to the third thing the third thing is for you to pick something to watch picking something to watch acts as a motivator a great motivator okay 
let's say for example you want to learn spanish because you like their culture you want to go there you like their soaps you like their music okay so if you like their music start with the spanish music that is picking something to watch start with the spanish music as you you are learning you need to start listening or doing input listening to something because of course you are learning a language to talk to people and talking to people needs you to listen and understand to them for you to respond so you need to start listening so you can start with songs uh, listen to spanish songs in your free time just listen 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 and you can correct like sometimes you can listen with um intention listen with an intention <clears throat> that means listening while getting new vocabulary or targeting some grammar points and sometimes you can listen for fun just listen and sing along or just listen and relax choose something to listen to the next step is to start reading reading is a very 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 important thing why because when you read you get new vocabulary and as you continue reading you get grammar structures that you call you could have not known if you are only doing grammar you know when you do grammar you are only uh you are only answering to rules okay someone has given you grammar like when it's like this the response is this when it's like this the response is this conjugation is like this so you just know the rules but when you are reading you're going to integrate those rules like your brain is going to know this is how it's supposed to be these are how words are arranged and more to that you'll get a lot of vocabulary from there and reading will help you even in speech when you start speaking you're going to realize that it is a bit faster than when you don't read reading is quite important start reading with very beginner books when you are doing spanish Oli richards has great 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 books for reading as a beginner you can go on amazon and buy one of her book one of his books i have learned spanish i started reading beginner stories with Oli richards books very very nice start reading with that let me give you a little background of my spanish journey empecé a aprender español hace tres años y ahora puedo hablar aunque aprendí español por mi cuenta aquí en esta casa y yo estoy orgulloso de mí siento mucho orgullo de mí porque no es algo fácil de aprender un idioma y empezar a hablar sin tener nativos de hablar uh, la primera la, prim, la primera vez que hablé con un español hablante fue uh, no fue muy bueno fue bueno fue bueno pero tenía miedo de tener uh, mistakes tenía miedo de tener mistakes de no hablar bien, de no entender bien, cosas como eso. Pero ahora estoy confidente, tengo confianza en mí que puedo hablar español y puedo hablar con nativos, puedo enseñar español, pero no estoy, ense no estoy enseñando español por ahora. Voy a enseñar español mucho más tarde. Voy a enseñar español later. ¿Cómo puedo Como puedes ver, no tengo muchas cosas, no tengo muchas cosas de hablar en español. Puedo hablar español, pero no hablo español mucho y algo que yo quería tener en mi vida español, en mi vida español es hablar con un nativo uh, con mucho o mucha frecuencia para tener español como una una segunda segunda uh, cervelo second brain tener español en mi segunda cervelo como tagalo puedo hablar tagalo como nativo y estoy muy 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 orgullosa
de eso. Muchas gracias por escuchar y ahora voy a continuar. The next thing is to write. Write is also known as the slow way of speaking. Okay, when you write, you're going to notice that as you speak, it's going to get easier and easier. So I urge you guys, start writing. When I tell people to write, they usually ask, what should I start with? What should I write? I advise people to find a topic that is usually in your day-to-day -day life. For example, you can be writing about your day every day. That is always in your day. Okay, write about your day every day. Because when you start picking topics every day, you are not going to have, like you are, you are going to have to think all of the time. What topic am I going to write about today? What topic am I going to write about today? So just pick one topic that you are going to write about every day. Every day write about something. And I promise you writing is going to give you a huge boost in your language learning. The next thing, after you have done all of those things, of course, you're going to want to speak. And that's where the last thing comes in, which is language islands. As you have seen, I've spoken in Spanish, I've spoken in Filipino, I've spoken in French, I've spoken in Italian. But I don't have natives to speak to, okay, in those languages. And um, what I did, I used something called language islands. I coached myself to speak. If you want to see my video on language islands, it's going to be at the end of this video. Go click and you are going to watch what I usually do with language islands. It's a very cool method that has helped me to speak really well in the languages that you have heard me speak. Even though I don't have natives near me or I don't talk to natives frequently. Maybe I've spoken, let's say we are using Spanish as a benchmark. I've spoken to natives like four times. Yeah, and that is, as you can see, that is not adequate for someone to be fluent in a certain language. So, language islands has really, really, really helped me. So, I suggest when you want to speak, you don't have a native near you, you can use language islands. And language islands also helps you to maintain the language that you know. So, after knowing a language and you don't have someone to speak to at the moment, create language islands and they are going to help you maintain that language and the very last thing is do everything that i have said again repeat everything that i have said again just repeat 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 and see what works for you repeat it again if it doesn't work remove it from your schedule and thank you so much for watching this video if you want to support me financially the link for buy me a coffee is down in the description box below. Go buy me a coffee. I'm going to appreciate so much. Kindly subscribe, like, share this video with your friend who is intending to learn a new language. Okay, they can get some advice from here. I made this video specifically for someone who wants to learn a new language. I was remembering myself as I started learning Filipino and I never saw such a video so i just told myself let me make this video to give someone insight someone who wants to start to learn a new language or someone who is learning a new language but they want some other person's view okay e muchas gracias por escuchar a este video y por estar aquí conmigo por favor suscríbete y nos vemos chao